Nearly 40 years ago, the talent behind the Muppets created the cult classic film The Dark Crystal right here in London. Now they've returned to make a prequel using the best talent available here to make the puppets come to life. Wendy Hurrell got a sneak peek at what we can expect. Let the music play. For those of a certain age, this theme tune will conjure some nostalgia. Let the fraggles play. We're go and a few years before Fraggle Rock, Jim Henson brought us The Muppet Show. Those television series were filmed at Elstree Studios in Hertfordshire. So too was the film that he felt most proud of, The Dark Crystal. A wondrous civilization. Released in 1982, it was groundbreaking in its time. My father had an amazing relationship with his financier, which was Lord Lou Grade, and he gave him kind of a blank check. And we're still the beneficiaries now of all that R&D that they did. Um, but the techniques, the animatronic techniques, almost all of that was developed for the Dark Crystal. What then became, like through all the 80s and 90s, this sort of animatronic business. When the Jim Henson Company decided to recreate the fantasy world of Thra for a television series, a prequel to the film, London was the only place to make it. The techniques of, let's say, making a very natural-looking cave or this beautiful forest with handmade plants, you know, this kind of thing it can't be done in most film communities, but the English film scene is still can do everything. To accompany the release on Netflix, there's an exhibition at the BFI. It features work by the illustrator and puppet maker who married after working on the original film. Sat in the workshop, uh, rather in awe of everything, because I love the Muppets. He was so Muppets. shy. Oh, he was just <laughs> yeah. terribly shy. To be surrounded by you know, fur and feathers and, and ping pong balls, <laughs> it made me so happy. On the South Bank, props and puppets are on show until the 6th of September. They'll come to life on our screens on August the 30th. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.